unbelievable for David Hay because as well, he popped his back, his leg, he carried on, he didn't chicken out the fight, he done well. You know, Tony started landing, you know, in the, in the 10th round, I think Tony kind of gassed up and then uh, he started working according to the plan, looking for the right shots. He was not trying to take him out and uh, it just went perfect for, for, for Tony. You know, I'm so happy I helped him train for that yeah, fight. Yeah, you was in camp, you obviously helped him in preparation, sparring. Um, what, what you were watching in there, was that, did yeah. it come to play from the sparring? Yes, it did, it did, you know, the body, to the, to the head, to the, to, the, to the right hook, it was all working great, man. He, he, done, he done beautiful, he done beautiful, I'm so proud of him. David's obviously got an Achilles problem, it was, it was clear to see in that, uh, but take nothing away from Bellew in that fight, uh, he gave everything. I think if, I think if David had a clear problem with the world, normal bo boxing boots, you know, that would have helped him to sustain the fight, you know, he would have changed his boots where normal one ankle ones, and that would have helped him. You know, uh, too bad, you know, uh, but you know what? Today, David boxed amazingly because his last fight, when he done with, with, with Klitschko, he had a toe problem, he didn't fight that fight. He just run away, run away. By this time, he actually, Done, done amazing. Do you think that, well, it's a bit early for this, but stay at heavyweight, does he come back down to cruiserweight? Obviously, he's still the WBC cruiserweight champion. I don't think he won't. I, I, I would advise him to go back to cruiserweight, unify the cruiserweight, and then he has to go cruiserweight in a nice way. He has to go down in a nice way, not in a rush, because when you do in a rush, you get injuries afterwards. So uh, I think he's going to go back to cruiserweight. Um, you've been here causing a little bit of mayhem yourself. What, what was going on? I saw you arguing in the yeah, ring. I was, I was having banter with, uh, with, 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 with Barry, yeah. Um, and then some pandans started talking crap. You know, there's no need of him talking crap. I haven't done anything to him. I'm just having banter with a, with a man. He starts talking crap, man. I'm like, hold on, there's no need of you talking crap, calling me shit, you know. So I had to put it on him. Uh, maybe I'm not a role model for nobody's kids, man. I'll fuck a motherfucker up easily, bro. I don't give a shit. And I don't waste no time. All right, Derek, can I just show people what you're dressed in? Is that all right? No, you can't, you motherfucker. What, are you gay or what? All right, let's not uh, talk about anything like that, because uh, I'll, I'll reveal something. Fucking poop. No, I'm joking. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking poop. look at that. You want to see my cock, too? Uh, no, right there. He's on the floor, isn't it? <laughs> Derek, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very TV. much, fellas. God bless Peace you. I'll see you soon, man. Take care, mate. I'm announcing my big fight soon. We'll look forward to it. Hi, Clifton.